Johnny Cueto going to South Florida to be a Marlin. I love this deal for the Marlins and for Cueto. Cueto had a very quietly effective season for the Chicago White Sox in 2022. The shimmy was back. You see uh, him on the mound there. I love that delivery from Johnny. Uh, he's someone that, because of his creativity this and, is a and just pitchability, he is a hot-end all-star pitcher, Harold. Uh, there is still, in my mind, a lot of baseball left in Johnny Cueto. And this is a team that I had been told during the course of the offseason was one that was involved in the Cueto conversations for weeks, if not months, a, a city that he would very much like to pitch in. And now he gets a chance to do it. What <laughs> this also says to me, Matt, is the possibility of a Pablo Lopez trade from the Marlins. Now, a lot of different teams are still, I think, looking for help there in the pitching side of things. Here's what their rotation looks like at the moment. Edward Cabrera, a really interesting emerging arm that I think is still underrated in the game that I'm I'm really excited about. You see now six legitimate starting pitchers, and this is where the potential of moving Lopez out, uh, and as we see it there, Sixto Sanchez potentially coming back at some point in 2023, there is enough depth to move a starting pitcher. So for Kim Ang, I think that's going to be a big topic in the weeks ahead. Does a team get to spring training now that we're only a month away with a short or with a, a longer spring? Because, of course, the WBC, does the team show up a month from now and say, wait a minute, we, we have a need for a starting pitcher. And is the Pablo Lopez trade conversation moving forward now to the start of spring training and, and to allow teams to get a little bit more uh, of a big picture of what their rotation looks like?